Virgo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to your reading. Virgo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you. Wow, so something very magical. You got the star card, you got the two of cups. Right now, your kindred spirit, your soulmate, that genuine, authentic self of yours, that real, you know, higher self, you are connecting with someone that's on your exact same frequency. Your angels are telling you, choose your frequency and shape your reality. And what they're meaning is like right now, when you watch videos on YouTube, you're not clicking on every video, you're choosing your videos. Same thing with television, right? You're not clicking on every single TV station. You're picking and choosing strategically what to watch. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you, choose your frequency. You have 60 to 70,000 subconscious thoughts a day. Out of those, probably a dozen are at max abundant. Choose those, milk those, you know, bask in those, embrace those, right? Live in those moments, right? Because when you do so, this is how you attract your soulmate. Remember, you always manifest who you are and not what you want. So right now, when your inner child is happy, when your higher self is happy, when your avatar is happy, that is how you attract your soulmate. You're telling your angels and guides, I am ready to meet my soulmate. I am ready. And the universe always rewards those who reward themselves. Now, very interesting because... You got the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So there's definitely a shadow here. There's some sort of, you could sense something is off. And right now your intuition is telling you something is off. And right now you got to remember, like your emotions guide your alignment. So when your intuitions tell you something is off, that's a warning sign from the universe telling you change is needed. Right now I do see here with the inner child card that you are deep down inside, your inner child is yearning to come out. Your inner child is yearning to be silly, have fun, joy, bliss, passion. Um, but there's a serious energy here that that is preventing this from happening. And usually when the serious energy is there, there's a concern. Because right now you do have the death card. So maybe there's a concern of you know financial stability. Maybe there's a concern of safety. Maybe there's a concern of health. But this concern right here, the serious energy is actually causing a lower frequency. And that lower frequency is putting you in fight or flight. And fight or flight means like you're releasing cortisol, adrenaline in your body, which really just taxes and ages you, right? You always feel like you don't have low energy. So right now your angels and guides are telling you in order to combat this, you always have to use your imagination, creativity. Everything is from the thoughts. Everything is an idea. It's all a choice. Right now, they're telling you, stay busy, right? So for example, don't give fear a chance at all to wreak havoc, right? So for example, you ever notice that like, things just go well when you're busy. Like when you're doing stuff, all of a sudden everything starts working out. But whenever you're waiting for something, forcing it and not taking possession, things slow down. That's what's going on here. Your angels and guides are telling you, you got the nine of cups, seven of cups, that they're waiting to gift you some sort of miracle, some something very abundant, right? Maybe this is that promotion at work, that inheritance, but it requires harmony. And harmony comes from a following excitement, right? Remember, if you want harmony in your life, you need melody in your thoughts. And right now, Source is telling you that excitement is where it's at. What excites you? What excites you in the day? This is so important. Like, for example, what, what makes you, if you could, you know, if you didn't have to work, you, you had $100 million cash, what would make you jump out of bed in the morning? What excites you? What is fun? What is joyful to you? You gotta give some time to really think about this. Like for example, I love being the best at stuff. This is my whole thing. I don't care if I'm the best dishwasher, I don't care if I'm the best day trader. I don't care how much money I have. I need to be the best at what I do. This is like, not everyone's like this. You know, Alicia, like for example, she's very empathic. She likes to be very spiritual. I need to like be the best businessman. I want to be the best husband. I I want to be the best athlete. It's just my whole thing. So like, for example, you know, Alicia and I, we got a fair amount of money, you know, God bless, but I still jump out of bed, ready to go hit the charts in the morning, just because I'm, I'm trying to master trading. I love it. I love, you know what I'm saying? So what do you love? Do you love cooking? Do you like art? Do you like dancing? Do you like singing? 
find what makes you happy and that right there, that's the hope you're looking for. This will change your life. Your inner child will be so grateful that you did this because action is the bridge to your manifestation. And this action step right here is called inspired action. And this is you getting in alignment first, right? And this will take care of everything else. Now you get the five of wands and you also have the knight of swords. Your angels are telling you that there's a little bit of extra pressure that you're putting on yourself. For example, maybe saying, I should have been rich by now. I should have met my soulmate by now. But you got to understand, doubt slows the manifestation process. So no one wants you to put extra pressure on yourself. Remember, you have a team of angels and guides that want you rich and they want you with your soulmate because it's your birthright. Their entire job is to make sure that you are well taken care of. Now, the only time that they can do their job is when you are in a happy, blissful, joyful state. Because when you're in a high vibration they're able to help and guide you whenever you're in a low vibration they're helpless and they, they really feel it what they're telling you right now is in order for them to bring you the blessings that you're looking for you have to be able to put yourself in a position where you're, you're able to listen to your intuition your intuition you only listen to when you are feeling what to do next not thinking right now what feels right what doesn't right so for example i know when i wake up in the morning i feel great i know when i sleep in i don't i know when i eat healthy i feel good i know when i eat junk food i don't so whatever feels right in your life your angels and guides are telling you it may sound so simple but the path in life is simple it's just not easy right? it's so easy to eat junk food so right now source is telling you that get yourself grounded get yourself you know in alignment you know follow your flow state follow your passion follow your joy and love which is the key to the expanded awareness will start showing up and everything will start making sense right you can expect big moves to happen in your life that's how you get that money that's how you meet your soulmate it all happens almost synergistically and very quickly you know one thing after another in a good way now you got the knight of cups and you also have the queen of swords Right now, your guides are telling you that to come up with a strategic game plan of, you know, your next move. Right now, your, your, your guides are telling you this, this will empower you. This new beginning is what you're looking for. Right now, remember, like, have a strategy. What's your one year, three year, five year, 10 year game plan? When you have a game plan, you are confident, you are organized, right? And that's what you're looking for right now, empowerment. What does that mean? Like, do you plan on being at your job for the next 10 years? No, three years, five years, one year? Because right now, when you know what you're doing, like for example, if you wake up out of bed and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I gotta go to work. Or you could wake up and be like, okay, well, I'm only here for a year. I'm gonna learn how this business runs and I'm gonna start my own business. See the different strategy? Right now, your angels and guides are telling you that it's going to be much, much easier, like smooth sailing for you when you come up with the strategic strategy. And right now, your reality is a mirror of your internal state. So by cultivating that internal state that's full of gratitude, excitement, and fun, now the new beginnings you're looking for will come. And these new beginnings could be new adventures, new possibilities, new jobs, new careers, pregnancy. It could be so many different things, right? But your angels are telling you that in order to get it, we have to really become the cause and effect. You have to instill a will greater than the programming and really go for it. All right, Virgo, time to get some money and love into your life. All you have to do is write down the following affirmation in the comment section and let your angels and guides know you are quantum entangling with abundance. When you write this down, make sure that you breathe life into these words by feeling these words as you write them down. And right now, you're commanding, assuming, expecting, and inviting and welcoming abundance in your life. So write down the following words exactly as you see here. Write this down. I am not a victim to harassment in my life. What you're doing is you're saying, you are not a victim to fear. Write this down in the comment section. I am not a victim to harassment in my life. Nope, fear is an illusion. You're excited, you're not scared. Write this down in the comment section right now. I am not a victim to harassment in my life. No, 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 you are powerful. Write this down, give this video a like right now and let your angels and guys know you are ready. Fear is not holding you back. You are powerful. You believe in yourself. You are confident. You can do this. Trust me on this. You got this, Virgo. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Right now, they say, don't be misled look at that don't be misled and their message is when fear speaks it's always wrong unless being chased by a wild beast look at that fear all of a sudden coincidence nope synchronicity and when love speaks it's always right and usually bounty game on right now your spirit guides are saying listen fear is an illusion you're excited you're not scared to start a business you're excited to start a business for example right now spirit has your back your angels and guides have your back the universe wants to see you successful you have a whole 
whole army here that is willing to help you. Fear is nothing more than a little tiny slimy golden, not even golden, green slimy little ball that's like, uh, you know, visualize something really pathetic. And that little thing is trying to tell you what to do. Don't listen to it. Listen to your higher self. Imagine yourself with angel wings. Boom. That's who your higher self is. Listen to that every time. All right, Virgo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, uh, love is your superpower.